if there's one thing I despise, aside from Disney and groups in general, is collectivism. Actually, you know, collectivism and groups kind of can go together, but... And I think one of the reasons, and it should be pretty apparent if you've watched Hot Fuzz, why, and because the background should be given away, away what this is about, which is the whole the greater good argument. Now, and now it sounds like it shouldn't be that a bad of a thing, or it sh- well, it shouldn't. Like you're doing something for the betterment of other, for everyone you know as a whole and yourself. The problem is the greater good, I would argue, can be you, and I believe another YouTuber talked about this, uh, the foundation of something. But you can actually use the greater good to justify some really fucked up shit. I can name two events, specifically one from communist Russia, the other one from Great Britain when William the Orange was still alive. Now, first we'll go with William the Orange. You ever heard of the Glencoe Massacre? Now, the orders given to the soldiers, one of them said it was for the Good of the nation. I believe so, anyway. Actually, looking at it, said, I just went back and uh, looked at Yeah, it said, for the good and safety of the nation, they must put everyone of the, in the Glencoe to the sword. And, um... Now, thankfully, some of the McDonald's survived this, although, um, I think it's been 300 years, they're still pissed about it. Like, there, I think Count Dank... No, Count Dank did talk about this. He said, if you go to Glen Co., there's an inn. They have a plaque. They're not, now, most inns have a plaque that says no hawkers. The inn at the Glen Co. says no hawkers or Campbells. They're still pissed about it. Can't say I blame them, but anyway. Although, part of me is like, get over it. Like, the, everyone who did it's dead. But at the same time, can you blame them? Well, yeah, maybe I can a little, but anyway... Like, anyway, moving on. No way. They use this as a justification for massacring an entire clan. Like, cousins, uncles, sons, brothers, sisters, daughters, sons. I don't know if I've said any of these words repeatedly, but yeah. Every member of that family was supposed to die, especially the old fox, McKeon, and his two sons. Now, thankfully, his two sons made it out of there, along with another number of other McDonald's. Unfortunately for them, some of the people who had ordered the murder, they want they were not they were unapologetic about. It. I remember the master of stare, lowest of the betas, most deserving of hell in this whole situation. He called for military action to hunt the rest of them down, and he got away with it. Unfortunately, hopefully there's a hell, and if so, I hope he's in it along with everyone who participated in the murder of the McDonald family. But anyway, that's one example. Another example, and this one is a bit more complicated, and I do not know the whole context, or I've forgotten some of it, but I think it is worth mentioning, which is Cannibal Island. And you're probably thinking, um, this sounds like something from a creepypasta. No, no, this was a real event. There was an actual island that the Soviets sent a bunch of people to, and it eventually became known as Cannibal Fucking Island. Otherwise known as the Nazino tragedy. Now, these people were all rounded up. They were all people who either did not have passports on them because this was a big deal at the time. Like, you'd actually have to go into the research of, like, what was going on in Russia at the time for you to fully understand this. But there was that. And on top of this, the NK- NKVD had quotas for the police officers of people they needed to have arrested by the end of the week or month or year. So the police were desperate to round up anyone that they could for any reason under the sun. One example was a a girl, a little fucking girl. Her mother had a passport for both of them. She had her daughter wait in one spot while she got some food from a stand. When she got back from the stand, her daughter was fucking gone. And you're probably wondering what happened. Nazino happened. She was shipped off there. And, um... Yeah, what happened on this island was a tr- such a horrible event. It kind of solidifies my hatred for communists because they would probably like to pretend this didn't happen. Like, a lot of atrocities happened under Stalin communism and other communism. Like, uh, that's not even getting to the stuff that happened in China, let's just say. But anyway, and, all, and they did this as saying the people they were sending to this island... They were harmful to society. 
And I don't know about you, but to me, I read that as it is for the betterment of society. It is for the greater good that we send these people to this island where they were fucked. They, like, gangs started to form on the train ride to the island. Or was it a boat ride? One of the two. And rations went down pretty fast. Shit went downhill real fast. And these people resorted to cannibalism. They would kill each other and eat each other. And all this happened because of the greater good. Now, I am simplifying the fuck out of this situation. It is kind of complicated, from what I remember. So if you want to to call me out on this, please research Nazino Island and come back to me and tell me how I'm wrong on this. But you can do you can justify doing some really fucked up shit for the greater good. And um I know this is probably a dark subject to talk about, but it was either this or fan fiction for this vlog and I couldn't decide which. And fan fiction I at least I'm starting to regret not doing it on that one because that one at least was can be funny. But anyway. Well, depending on your sense of humor. Um and then the Xeno tragedy and as it was fucked up on so many ways, and lots of people disappeared in Stalinist Russia. Like, um Alright. Lots of people would disappear, let's just say. Like, if you ended up on that dreaded list, they had no problem taking you out back, shooting you in front of your husband or wife, and then killing them next. Like, if you want... Like, this was kind of like a joke on the death of Stalin. Like, it's just nonchalant. It's like, not even that surprising that it happens. It's just it's just a rant... It's a, a daily occurrence in the movie. And the movie is kind of dramatized, so... Anyway, my point is, like, the greater good has problems in that you can do horrible things and just say, oh, it was for the betterment of everyone else that I killed this person. Like, you could walk up, beat someone to death with a mop handle, and say, eh, well, uh, it was for the betterment of society, and that's what the law says. So, yeah, I think that is just an excuse. An excuse and nothing more of it's better for everyone that I do subject A. Instead of subject B. Or option A over option B. But they, that is a weak excuse for collectivists who just want to get... And here's the thing about groups and collectivism that I hate the most. It's either you're in the in-group or the out-group. And I know if you are in the in-group, there is nothing but boon for you. But if you are in the out-group, they will discriminate against you, fuck with you, and make your life miserable because you are the other. And that is not a good position to be in when you are the other and the in-group is the one in charge because they can do some really fucked up shit. And I'm probably using the word fucked up too much. But, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say on this is the greater good is an excuse. Nothing more. I would, like, I hate to get political on this one, but I'll oh, actually, you know, I don't mind. Um... The like the left and the right, I think they would kill people if they thought they could get away with it and justify it as, oh, it was for the betterment of the country or the future. Like, leftists, they have no problem calling you every horrible thing they can think of. A racist, a sexist. That depends on the day. You might be right with me. Hard to say. Like, I don't hate black people. I just like making jokes about them. Actually, I don't even make jokes about them. I just I don't do anything. Anyway, anyway. So they do all this, and they do it for their cause. That's what the greater good is. It's an excuse for the furthering of a cause, and they do not care how fucked up it is or how many lives they ruin in the process, as long as they get what they want. And I have no idea where I was going with that. But I think they would do a, a thousand Nazino Islands if they thought they wouldn't have to pay the price for it one day. And the same thing with the right. I mean, they used to say if you liked heavy metal or you played Dungeons and Dragons, you were a Satanist. Now, now thankfully, a Satan, being a Satanist ain't a crime, or we, a lot of people probably would have gone to jail. Well, then, uh, thankfully, spectral evidence is no longer valid evidence anymore. But, uh, yeah. So the left and the right both suck. So I can see either one of them doing something similar to Nazino. Maybe not as bad, but it wouldn't surprise me if they tried. Because witch hunts, 
like this is another thing about collectivism and the greater good. It can be used to justify a witch hunt. And believe me, you do not want to be on the receiving end of a witch hunt. It is not pleasant. It is not good. It is by far one of the worst things you can go through. You will have your life destroyed for nothing. Basically, the thing that McCarthy is accused of inciting, other people have done. Now, McCarthy, you can maybe excuse away because it turns out there were actual communists in America when he was doing his shtick and his hand was kind of forced. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea where I was going with that. Uh, I, it really went off the reservation after I brought politics into it. The point is, it's a bad idea. The greater good is a very bad idea, an excuse and nothing more for people who have no real brain cells working upstairs. Or that people use to justify the things they've done because they didn't want to argue against it at the time, or they couldn't. Or in general, it's just an excuse, an excuse, and nothing more. And anyone who uses it can go straight to hell. Because there's some things that nothing can be worth doing. Like there are some times where murder is justified, but then there are other times where it was avoidable. You just chose to do it because you felt like it or you wanted to. And with that, I think I'll end the video. I actually planned on writing this out, but uh, kind of didn't know where to go with the ride, so I just said, decided, you know what, go off the cuff with this one, and um, results re the results varied, let's just say. Anyway, that's the video. Have a nice day, and uh, remember the game was rigged from the start. God, I need some Coke, and by that I mean cola.